second part of our volunteer timing system setup for start marshals and finish marshals. So part two is basically letting you know which three items you need to successfully uh, make sure that everything's being timed at the event. So first you need an activator, which we went over in video number one. The second is you need a phone. And the third piece you need is a battery pack. The phone is quite simple. This is only for finish marshals. So I repeat, this is only for finish marshals. Finish marshals are given a phone and a battery pack. When you take your phone and your battery pack to your position, find the activator and place the phone approximately two to three feet away from the activator. By placing the phone there, you ensure proper signal. For the phone, it's quite simple. Basically, you turn the phone on. The phone will also be given to you in a Ziploc bag. Once the phone is on, you're gonna be selecting the Zone 4 app. It's the only app you can choose in the, in the phone. There's nothing else for you to choose. And then you'll be clicking on chip times. Once on chip times, every once in a while, you can check into the phone approximately every three to five minutes. And as a racer passes through, you're gonna see their times being uploaded. So just like that, one times gets uploaded. You just check in to make sure. If the battery runs out or the phone turns off, it's not a problem, there's nothing for you to do. Just give us a call and let us know. Everyone's time still gets recorded, just doesn't get posted online. So again, that's three things you need. Number one, you need the activator in position. Number two, a cell phone that is turned on and has the Zone 4 app logged in and is turned on, and a battery pack connected with a phone cable. You place the phone approximately two to three feet away from the activator and all correlating towards the Smith mat. All right, that's it for part number two. Stay tuned for the troubleshooting section.